Back, back, all right, you guys. Got my wrinkled Naruto shirt on, my controller that's not working. I think it's. There you go. <laughs> This is not working at all. We got here. Oh, it doesn't show up on the stream. It's weird. All right. So, uh, Lord have mercy. So I did some more stuff online, of course. Um, uh, just thinking of something I had to do. So. Let me make this recap faster because I'm tired of doing these recaps. It's not like anybody really cares anyway. I basically just came over and did the first starting area again. Then I came over and did under Storm Bale. I killed the boss under there. Um, I made sure I killed a couple Evergowls. And I did the Fringe Folk Heroes Grey, which is just some traps. Um, I went to Jarberg. And I think that was about it. Oh. And then finally, I basically ran through Lane Dell, but I need to run through it again because I didn't pick up all the items. I just ran through, marked everybody, basically scouted it, got some uh, graces, didn't beat any bosses or anything. So what I need to do now is I need to beat Lane Dell, and unfortunately for me, I need to do this Kaled Divine Tower, which I just don't want to do. <laughs> rather, I'd, it's so bad, I'd rather do Lane Dell first, to be honest. So... Like I said, I've already ran through here, but I just, I know I missed some items, so. Let me kind of just run through again and get these items I missed, because there's, there's items all over the place. I killed like a dragon, I, I went on rooftops, I, I know I'm missing this item near this like lion with a sword. Uh, I don't know where the hell it is, I even got the shortcut, like I went all through here. And I can see that, look, there's two items right there, that's what I've been trying. It looks like I can skip most of it if I land over here and then land on this ledge and jump on that building. But I need to get the bolt of Grand Sacks, which is on that giant, jagged, like, dull, gold-colored spear. But I'll, I'll get that after I beat the boss. Oh, and I also need to go by the tree roots near the boss. Ugh, I have so much work to do. So without further ado, that's what I'm doing. Still rocking the same build. The only difference is I'm level 110 now. Barely made that. You know what? So the 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 thing with Landell, the capital, and it's everybody misprint or misspells it online. It's it's like it's spelled Landell, but I've seen it spelled Lindell and all kinds of shit. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's that's how you spell it. So I can go here. It, this place is just massive. That's the problem. I can go down. I can go down left. I can go. It, it's it's nuts. That's why I like I ran through and just basically went picked random directions every time and that's why I missed a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna try to <laughs> just, just just try to get some get some items I missed. So right off the bat I saw some items on the rooftops. So it looks like I need to go to the right. So if, if I, I jump, jump down, down here. here. So 
So let me come over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This place gives me anxiety. Is it over here or is it over there? Oh, so if I jump down over there, which I'm about to do. And these guys are a joke right now, and then later they are not a joke. It's pretty, pretty funny. Okay, so I need to go way to the right. So if I jump down over here, I would have to go way over there. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's let's try it. And of course these little bastards are here. Frame rate, keep up with me, frame rate. Okay, so over there is where I need to go. Uh this is tough. I don't think I can actually reach that from with traditional means. Definitely couldn't make that jump. Where are you going? I can make this jump. I think I can make this jump. Just eyeballing it, just guessing. Okay, so if I make those jumps, then I can make this jump. Alright, cool. And then there's one more item over there. I think there's another item over here somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. My my completionist OCD. It's probably a stone sword key, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can always I can always tell. Um. I'm getting summoned. I went down, I killed that Ur tree down there already. I went all the way over to the lift with the Leonine guy and a bunch of well misbegotten dudes and perfumers. I did I did like the whole freaking area. I just didn't do under under the capital really. Some and then just missed some items. Bro, you hate to burst your bubble. <laughs> Go ahead and start off with this asshole. Surprised he even got a hit on me. Alright, so where are we going? Thrilling stuff. Thrilling stuff. Bro, I know you did not just summon somebody and then you're walking and looking in every single nook and cranny. Like, it's... It's not, like, the worst thing you can do, but it's... Yeah, you, you deserve this invasion. You deserve this invasion. You really do. I don't even care that I die. You're just you're getting on my nerves anyway. Maybe I should stop putting down my uh, putting my summon thing up because these this is the second time I got summoned. And it's like super annoying. Because uh, last night I was playing by myself and I got summoned and the host just basically made me dual invaders. It was like really annoying. What's going on here? See, it's this this shit. Like, what are what are we doing? Like, you should be killing the invader right now. Like, why are we standing here? That's that's. If this was a duel, you need to have etiquette. But if it's just an invader, you just fucking start fighting. Like, that's all there is to it.
I don't want to be a dick, but I'm just like, we're here to fight. We're not here to have fun. All right. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why we're just standing here, so. Not, I don't even know what to say about that. We're all just standing around, like. <laughs> the state of this community, I swear to God. Like, it's an invader. You kill invaders. You don't. You don't have to do anything special. I mean, you shouldn't AFK, and you shouldn't, like, don't just invite invaders with the tauner's tongue and then just gank him over and over again, you know, but at the same time, if you're just playing and an invader comes in, you're, you're supposed to kill him, or they're supposed to kill you. Like, you're supposed to kill each other. That's it. I don't... The dancing around and saying hi 50 times shit, like, I... I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That phantom just scared me. <sighs> anyway, there's not even anything over here. And notice how the host didn't do anything at all. He just sat there and made me do it. So if he gets invaded again and he just stands there and makes me fight the invader, I'm just going to fucking leave. Like, this is, you summon me. Like, I'm not your, like, I'm here to help you, but I'm not your, your fucking your robot to just order around. Pissing me off with this shit. This is what happened to me last night is exactly what happened. Like I said, I was, I joined a guy and he had on, like, um, some nice, nice armor. And an invader came in, and he literally just clapped, and then he backed off, and then he just watched me fight the invader. So then I won, and I was like, cool, then we moved on. Then the same thing happened again, like, five minutes later, because there's, like, barely invader cooldown. Another invader came in. He sat there in the back of the room and then watched me fight the invader. I won. And then he clapped, and then that was it. And then I was, after that, I was starting to get annoyed. I'm like, all right, what's, what's, what's up? And then the third invader came in, and he just, I just couldn't get a hit on him. He was, he was just using a spear and a shield, and he was just obnoxious. But he won, you know, fair and square. It was just me versus him, and he just straight up, I couldn't hit him. He, he beat me. And then on my left, because I died, and then that was it. <laughs> I was like, this is, this is not fun. Like, I'm not, I'm not joining people to fight invaders. I'm joining people to help them clear areas, but... <laughs> Yeah. Don't I just that's why I said I was like I don't even know what to say anymore. This community is so weird. And of course you get the hit. This is why everybody hates these guys, cause they like back off. And then they come at you with a hit like that. And it's like, it's really frustrating to fight, like, melee. I don't know how casters deal with it, but they always back off. And, you, and you're always going to fall for it because most people in melee just don't really give it too much thought. Uh, and myself included. <laughs> so they, like, back off and then they lunge at you and they take off, like, fucking 40% of your health. And, and that's just some of the stuff they do. They're, they're terrible. Everybody hates those guys. Really like to know where you think you're going, host, by the way. I feel like he's just, honestly, I feel like he just wants to get invaded. I think that's all hosts are doing now, and it's it's kind of a bummer because usually it takes a while for Souls games to devolve into just PvP, you know? Like, I get people like PvP, but it's like, some of us do like PvE, and it's like, I feel like most people are just, want to just go straight to the PvP, which... I do not. I want to fight AI. I don't like fighting players. Players are players are players. It's like if I don't like people in real life, why? Oh shit! Why would I like fighting against people in a video game? You you got me. I didn't even know there was guys here to grab. Didn't even know there was guys here to grab. Varg, isn't the guitarist from Decapitated named Varg? I don't remember. It's something, something not American. I 
I'm, I'm okay. I don't need that. Yeah, I didn't really need that, but whatever. Yeah, you can drop down. I think it's just, uh, what do we got here? Is it a hand or a big boy? Or nothing? Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's Maybelline. going on here I'm <laughs> kind of glad I'm streaming this this is this is just the experience I'm having lately when I'm playing with other people very strange very strange taking like atypical routes um, they're very strange invader behavior the very strange builds it's just this like I'm playing with bots to be honest but these are these are players not any botting in this game that I'm aware of unless you want to count like AFKing as botting which you can because it's pretty garbage behavior. What are we doing? Oh, got to be quicker than that. I feel like there's a dragon around here, but I think it's... Oh, subterranean shunning grounds, eh? Yeah, I was going to say I did not explore subterranean shunning grounds, like, at all, basically. Um, it's a weird area in that you can do it basically whenever you want, but if you do it early it's really difficult oh, <laughs> and you can kind of save it for later for instance on xbox i was level like one shit i think i was around 130 150 and i was still getting summoned in here so it's you don't have to do this right away all right i'm glad i'm out of that that was weird that was a weird host Okay, so on this building, um, like I said, I already cleared these streets, but you know what? I didn't clear these streets, so that's kind of what I wanted to do, was super clear these streets. Clean up the streets, like a defender, Marvel defender. I know, like I said, I need to kill a lion, and I don't know where he is, but he's somewhere ground level, and I'm just going to have to find him. Oh, there's an item right there. <sighs> Why does everybody always text me when I'm streaming? And I've been sitting on my ass all day. I haven't done anything. Nobody texts me. And then as soon as I start streaming, people start texting me. You know, I used to love texting, too. As an elder millennial, I was there before texting existed. And I loved it at first, and everybody else hated it. And everybody was like, no, 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 call me, call me. I don't want to text. Now, I don't want to text, and everybody else wants to text. <laughs> I was like, I'm done. I've already done my texting. I don't want to do it anymore. I had fun when it was when it was first there. It was fun. Now, now I'm done. We're good. All right. I really, these back, these little streets are like really annoying because there's just enemies everywhere in these little annoying situations and it, it's, it, it can, can get, get just quite annoying. annoying. That's the key word is annoying. 
And I got another text. And I don't like to be rude and not answer texts. <sighs> but I'm about to stop answering. So I went up there and unlocked that door. Um, race ahead. I don't remember what's up here, so let me just run up here real quick. Like I said, there's going to be enemies everywhere. Yeah, I've killed these guys before. This is near where the Bolt of Grand Sacks, you, where you drop down. But at my at the point I'm at right now with my build, is basically, I'm not trying to brag or anything, because how can you brag in this game? Uh, my build's good for this area, I'll say that. Like, I just refuse to brag, though. It's just a fucking game. Bragging is for losers, anyway. Okay, so I, I've gotten that guy before, I remember that. I just, I need to find that fucking lion. Which, he's not here, so I don't know why I'm here. And there's also an archer, this is a dumb spot to be in, because there's an archer over here, too, and it's just... As soon as he turns around, so I'm just going to keep my camera on him. You got these idiots who think they're hot shit. And that guy who almost got a hit on me, but not quite. Alright, so the Bolt of Grand Sacks is literally right here. But I'm going to kill this archer first, because he makes my life a living hell. And you can actually watch when he pulls the arrows. Oh shit. The arrows out, and then you can time your attacks accordingly. Okay. It's funny because I've hit invaders in that same timing that he just did, and it didn't do it, it didn't register as a hit, but when the AI does it, it's, it's fine. Well, that's fair. Alright, come on, guys. Alright, 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 alright. You guys are getting your little hits in. It's real cute and funny. Stop throwing fucking pots. Stop doing your dumb lunge. And stop blocking everything. Yeah, block this, fucking asshole. Oh, for fuck's sake, I have like 50 texts. I can't believe it. Yeah, okay. Is a line over here? Let me stream to my zero viewers, alright? Here he is. Let me stream to Oh, man. This game is such a dick. Of course there's a fucking perfumist. Now I gotta completely change my entire strategy. Oh, I hate that fucking Miyazaki. He's such a fucking dick, or whoever designs shit like this. Such a dick move. Look at this, like, expert... Like, dog... That was, like, expert tier right there. <laughs> that was just... God tier strategy right there. Are right, you gonna throw fire? And I missed, so I deserve that. Here, you just get one hand because you're a fucking dick. Yeah, the developers are just fucking dicks, dude. Like, <laughs> just is it not bad enough? There was all those enemies over there, and then you're gonna throw a giant like dog with a sword arm and a perfumist to buff it like right next to each other. It's just, it's just rude, man. Some, getting some fat coin purse bullshit. Um, you absolutely cannot make this jump, so I'm not even going to try it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that item is garbage, and you can get it from near the boss anyway, so get that in a minute. There's something else I want. Oh, yeah, so I really do need to do this subterranean shutting grounds, which is, I think, underground roadside, maybe. But I really don't <laughs> want to. I just don't like the area. It's uh, It's tough. The reason why it's tough is it's it's A, it's dark. B, there's just straight up tough enemies in there. C, the big thing for me is that it's just so difficult to navigate. Like, I have no idea where I am like, when I'm in there. I wish I could get this from here, but there's just literally no way to reach this from here. In fact, I don't even think I can reach that gazebo. But, yeah, you have to do the boss or some other kind of trick to get it. Let me see if I can at least get the gazebo. All right, cool. Fucking stone sword keys. And these guys are usually really hard, but this build is just an anti-night build, basically. 
It has the stagger and the damage to take care of these assholes. It's really slow though, so it's it's hit or miss for PvP. It can either wreck it wrecks people or you get wrecked. There's no in between. What is this? Oh, it's a room room I was just in. So I think that's everything in, in the streets. Because I've been around, like I said, I've been going around everywhere, so pretty sure I cleared all this shit. Let's double checking, pretty sure I was over here. Like I said, I really wish I can get this now. And just to just to show it, because I've been ranting about it for five minutes. Just for completion's sake. Where where the hell is it? Oh there it is. You can see it right there. I'm not gonna use it either. <laughs> It's just literally just me and Gene, a completionist. It's uh, just a spear. It's literally... Oh, fuck me. It's literally the same thing as what it's on. It's That giant weapon is... You're just going to get the miniature version of that. Um, I wonder if I should just go do the boss. Oh, yeah. Let me do the tree roots, and then I'll do the boss. So, let's... Where's the fastest way to get to the tree roots? It's this one. Man, I'm like sweating in here. Well, let me let me check the temperature of the house. I'll be right back. I think it's just me playing the game is sweaty, to be honest. Because <laughs> the, the house is a nice temperature. And yeah, I'm wearing pajamas. It's like 8.54 Florida local time, so. Um, yeah, this is exactly where I wanted to go. Right? Yeah. So I killed the gargoyle. I just need to go in this tree root. And then I even went down and did all that stuff with the version of Doctors and blah, 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 blah. So actually, shit, I got enough to level. Let me level up. And then let me go do this tree root bullshit. And then I guess I'll do the boss. Uh, let me give myself some more vigor. So, yeah, I got 40, 41 vigor, 20 mind, 25 endurance, 16 dex and strength, 50 intelligence, 12 faith, 10 arcane. Terrible, Terrible build, build um, but, but it's, it's obviously, obviously getting me through the game. game. Yeah, and I... I'll try to drop a summon sign again. And there's where you go after you beat the boss where those two perfumers are at or whatever. And then that's how you can land on the stupid fucking spear over there. I hate when they show you shit that you can't get until later, but you can still see it. Fucking such a tease. Wow. Oh. All right. And there's all these little drop-off points that are just a tease. So if you come back here, there's actually some stuff. And I think I fucked up. Yeah, I need to go to Altus and do... Come over here, because Corrin is over here. Shit, I'll go do that in a minute. So I should do that. Uh, I should do that right now. I think I need to do this. Just for something dumb like his, um, just for Corrin's quest, I believe. Welcome to Elden Ring, where you make a plan and then you throw it in the garbage <laughs> and do something else.
You know what? I didn't run into blood brother Corin. Son of a bitch. I gotta do something else, actually, because this brother Corin is somewhere in the Altus Plateau, I believe. And then I have to come all the way back here. Then he's in Lando. So I'm not even there yet. Just, like check this. Whoa, don't you know, let me back away from him so I don't actually hit him. Let me let me check this out here, because this is this is a doozy. This is a doozy. I'm going to do a window capture so I can show you what... Yeah, so I'm going to look up Brother Corrin. I think that's how you spell it. And then you got to go... Um, okay. So after reaching Altus Plateau, it'll tell you he's going on a journey. After resting, he moves Altus Plateau and increases. You'll be standing on the road north of the Altus ju Highway Junction Waypoint. Are you sure? So he's somewhere over here. So let me go check check this. It's this is annoying. <laughs> it's like I should have done this before, but that it, it happens. All right. So let me go north, and hopefully he's over here somewhere. Yeah, that's south anyway, so let's head north. It's a finger reader. So I already got that golden seed, and I have three golden seeds. I need two more. And then I'll be maxed, because I think 14 is the most you can get. Okay, there's the map. So he should be near here. There he is. Okay, cool. So this should move. It's like I really don't need anything, but I'll just buy it anyway. It's because I'm here. I don't want to give him any prayer books because I'm going to give it to um, the Turtle Pope. I want the Turtle Pope to have everything. Okay, so now, next time I come over here, he should be up here. So let me come back again <laughs> and go to the Turtle Pope, because I forgot I had some books. So let me give Turtle Pope these. I think I have two books for him. And then um, go back to Brother Corn. I forgot his name. His name's not actually Turtle Pope, but I like to call him Turtle Pope. I don't think he has anything else that I'd really give a shit about. Um, okay. And I haven't sinned against any NPCs. Yeah, or, so I don't need to atone. Okay, so if I come over here... Go, uh, Corrin's no longer on this road, so that means... And he's not going to be listed here, so that means when I come up here... <laughs> so help me, he better be... Um, ready to rock on this bridge. And I think I'm doing all this, all I'm going to get is a jester, really, but I could be mistaken. You might get some other stuff. It's like, I don't know why I'm putting buffs on. Let's just, let's just get this shit done. Some level one, level 111. So there's like a meta for these Souls games where you basically want to be within a certain met level range. I'm probably not going to adhere to it because I really don't fucking care. But at the same time, you do want to be in a certain range just for a maximum amount of, like, cooperative or adversarial multiplayer. So, um, I don't know. It, sh it should be higher than 125, though, honestly. I think people have it at 125 for this, but that's what it was in old Souls games, one 120. But in this game, it should be, like, 150 or 180 or something, in my opinion. But what the fuck do I know? All right, so here's Corrin again. And he's just talking about Gold Mask. He's like dick riding Gold Mask. Gold Mask has nothing at all to say. <laughs> just sitting here. 
All right, so now that I've talked to him here, I'm pretty sure he should be, um, he should be here in the capital. But let me let me double check. So after speaking to, after resting, increase the stock again. You can discuss. Got your at least two great runes. Found a clip and you're contemplating a riddle. Okay, so it looks like he should be up here. But, you know, I'm not 100%, 100% sure. Fucking controller's like stuck in these cables here. Right, and I gotta kill a couple like these little dudes in here, but they're not hard. Duelists, I believe they're called. I'm not gonna get summoned again, because that was annoying the shit out of me. People, people are so fucking weird with summons in this game. It's, it's, it's like there's this circle jerk with PvP in games that I, I will just never understand. Like, it's like sometimes it's fun to play PvE. Like, you don't, you don't have to. Not everything has to be super competitive and sweaty all the time and as difficult as possible. Like, it's like, well, why are you playing Elden Ring then? It's like it's not difficult all the time. There's just chill, chill times in it. It's like, like you, you make, make it difficult all the time, though, if you're just playing against other sweaty players, you know. Just, it's, it just ain't that serious, is my point. It just, it just ain't that fucking serious. Not everything has to be a competition. Alright, so here comes Mr. Duelist Man. Alright, so he's frostbitten. Whoa! Alright, yeah, I saw that coming. Hit B. Didn't do anything. Like usual. I just died. Are you fucking my ass right now? All right. All right. All right. Little shitty duelist thinking he's hot shit. Thinking he's hot fucking shit. Taking off fucking... How much health do I have? He was doing easy 700 damage per hit. Like, that's just... That is so fucking stupid. <sighs> Ugh. Okay, now I gotta run. It's just literally just a waste of my fucking time. Because it's... I'm, not, I'm gonna kill him. That was, there was no point to him doing that much damage. Other than to just slow me down and inconvenience me before I kill him. It's just... Gotta love it. It's moments like these that really make it easy to switch to other games. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like it's, it's moments like these where you're just like, you know what? I think I'm done playing Souls games for a while. I'm gonna take a break. Like this, this is why people don't play Souls games all the time. It's dumb shit like that. All right, community fucking asshole. It's like you want to be cheesy? I'll be fucking cheesy. You want to be fucking cheesy? I'll be cheesy. Let's let's be cheesy, cause you demand me to, for me to be cheesy. You you demanded it with your stupid fucking overpowered attack. You're fucking begging for me to be as cheesy as possible. They really do. Like they just don't want to. They just don't want to play normal. They want to be as sweaty and cheesy and irritating as fucking possible. Sit the fuck down. Shut the fuck up. Fuck off. It's like, can I continue with what I was doing, please? I don't think there's anything in here, right? Just finger butthole messages and juvenile garbage like that. Oh, there's some enemies over here, which I forgot about. All right, so here's corn again. This is anything else to say? Oh, never mind. Okay, now he doesn't have anything else to say, and I think he. Supposed to get that gesture, but I think I get it after I do all this bullshit. 
I need, I know what I need to do. I'm just trying to think if I have. Okay, I don't think he has it. He doesn't. So I need to go make sure I have this incantation before I continue, and I don't remember where it is. So I'm going to have to look it up. Let me look it up real quick. Wow, and I'm spinning around while I'm looking it up. Okay. Chill. Okay, so law of regression. Um, Golden Order Principia prayer book. Erd Tree Sanctuary in Lanedale. Oh, so I need to beat the boss first, basically. That's, that's basically, I just need to beat the boss. Okay, well, the boss isn't really that hard. And like I said, I'll do the subterranean shunning grounds at some point. <laughs> How about that? At some point. Um, but yeah, pretty much covered everything. It's pretty much the whole area now. I might have missed an item or two in the streets again, but I don't, I don't, I don't think it'll be important. Wish you can use a horse in these long ass areas. Of course, these doors don't open. Is it? Oh, you don't have the right. Yeah, fucking hilarious, man. Absolutely, just genius comedic writing. Anything in here? Uh, what do we got here? I'm gonna guess. This is gonna be. Holy Grease or something, right? Oh, okay. I was like, it's going to be something that's, like, mildly usable, but nothing amazing. Okay. So, basically, all you got to do now is head to the tree roots and then climb them up. Um, this boss is a lot easier than the later version of this boss. This is, like, the play school, my first Godfrey boss. Like, later on, he's way worse. This one is just a lot easier. But he's still a boss, and you can still get absolutely pummeled. So, try to play it safe. Okay, right, now I'm going to see if I can help anybody. And hopefully, just people are just normal. Can we just run through the area or run to the boss and stop trying to be fucking doing stupid-ass fucking goddamn PvP bullshit? It's like, can we just fucking play the game, please? If I see one more host do this, like, mini Fight Club bullshit, I'm out of here. <laughs> just, I'm just not here for PvP. Whoa. I'm always getting nervous on this fucking tree here. It's it's just it's precarious. You got hit on me. Oh, shit. I mean, these guys are pretty weak, but that's again that brings to mind the complacency issue with this game, where you'll fight some weak enemies and then you just get cocky and then you get punished, like rinse and repeat. There's also an item over here for the uninitiated. I was like, and I'll just miss like 30 times in a row. There you go. And it's grease. Nothing special. I'm pretty much at the boss now, unless I get summoned at the last second, which I kind of don't want to be summoned at this point. All right, so here he is. I'm just going to turn this off just so I don't get summoned. And again, I'm going to be cheesy, come at me, I don't give a fuck. I was like, I'm here to beat the game, not to die 50,000 times in a fucking row, bang, bang my head against the wall. I mean, this boss is not easy regardless, ow, even with the fucking... Like, you can still get clapped. Like, you just don't... It's like, don't take any of these bosses for granted here. Like, that axe is mean. I 
Oof. Uh, I hit B, but it was super delayed. Super, de oh, super delayed. But it doesn't matter. All right, what's cool about that boss is now I have my fourth talisman pouch, so I can put on another um, talisman here, which is great. And, you know, I just trivialize that boss, I know. I don't care. <laughs> like I said, I'm, there's people, <laughs> it's funny because there's people that sit there and die a billion times at a boss, and then there's people that have moved on and have already beaten the game. I was like, you're not, you're not impressing anybody with that shit. Um, so usually right now what I like to do is put, this is my ultimate loadout here for, for PvE, is I like to put this restores FP right here and then restores HP right here. So every time I kill an enemy, I'm, I'm just basically refilling my shit. And then, you know, stamina and equipment load. However, I do not have the fucking HP one because it's, Later on, I have to finish the fucking Volcano Manor shit. So instead, I'll put something else. I have no fucking idea. Let me see. I, you know, I might want to just put this on, to be honest. Um, just for now. Or, or, you know what, fuck it, I'll put this dumbass one on. This is terrible, this is worse. But I'm just basically considering I don't have a, a fourth thing on. Okay, so now that I beat the boss, I can do a few things here. Um, and I don't remember which to do in what order, and it's, a, it's like a bunch of shit. So, first things first, let me level. Let me level. Let's get that. Like I said, I want to get my vigor to 45, then my intelligence to 60, and then I'll go from there. But I just want to keep pumping this vigor up because as you saw from the duelist, the enemies are going to start hitting. Unfortunately, this game gets harder the further you go into it, like not in a good way. The enemies are going to start hitting for like 800 damage routinely, like the bosses and stuff, just easily. So you can get two shot, one shot, any shot, like just without even, it just, just, it just happens. It sucks. It's just how the game is. The end of the game has wildly unbalanced difficulty. It's all over the place. There's no rules. There's no fucking rules at the end of the game. I'm getting there. I'd say it gets to end game around the uh, consecrated snowfield. This is still like mid game basically. Because you after Consecrated Snowfield, all you really have is Mog's Palace, Mogwin Palace, uh, Halig Tree, and Crumbling Farm. Like, that's basically it. So technically, I mean, you can say this is endgame after Lanedale, but there's, there's still stuff to do. What is this? Let me just go here first. Oh, I didn't even mean to be here yet. That's, that's, I'll do that in a minute. That's what I'm gonna do. But first, let me kill these little perfume fucks. I think there's a, a Godskin Apostle over here or something. Let me, let me see. Oh, it's a crucible tree, tree crucible night. Okay. I'd rather fight a Godskin Apostle. <laughs> Thanks. As you can see, extreme damage here. Extreme damage. This is what I was saying about vitality. Like, boost that shit up. Boost that shit up. Look at this. Look how much damage he's doing per hit. It's fucking nuts. Fucking nuts. But so am I, so fuck you. Absolute mind-boggling damage. Right, there's a little fucking asshole here, and I'm just... 
God damn it. I fucking hate... These are literally my least favorite thing in the game. I'm, I'm just going to say it. These are literally my least favorite thing in the game. I'd rather fight Revenants than these. I'd rather fight fucking Revenants than these. <sighs> fucking hate those things, man. All right. Where am I? So this confused me first time I played it. I had no idea where to go next. I was like, wait, what? And I, in fact, I still don't really know where to go. I just know um, you go back to the room you killed the Shade of Godfrey in, whatever. So I'll go back to there. Oh, here's the bolt. Here's the bolt, okay. Let me um, try to get this. Let me try to get this. This is tough, though, because if I fuck this up... I've got a lot of enemies here that want my fucking blood, so this is this is kind of hard to get. So let me jump on here. Okay, that was that went a little better than I thought. See, we got this asshole here on my on my ass. All right, I got it. I just want to hide here for a minute. Okay, he's not gonna he's not gonna stop so I'm gonna have to improvise here by improvise I mean miss the landing oh I'm in a bad situation I'm in a bad situation you fucking dick get out of here with that fucking lightning All right, this is gonna be fun look at, look at this setup I got right here look at this setup I got right here if I live through this I'm gonna laugh Ooh, I'm so fucked I'm so fucked here comes lightning, and it still hits me. It still hits me. Pure fucking garbage. This guy is so fucking trash. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Oof! You're pissing me off. I'm not even fighting you. Goddamn lightning! lightning. Alright, cool. I got the worst guy. And now there's a perfumer. Now there's a perfumer. This situation is hilariously bad. This is so fucked. Look at this shit. Alright. This is why I hate perfumers. Now they all have an extra hit of health. That's why I fucking hate perfumers. Right, that's why you're dead. Right, now you're gonna watch me slowly make my comeback here. This is my comeback. Comeback tour. You see the pile of dead bodies here. All I was trying to do is get that dumbass fucking weapon. That I'm not even gonna use. <laughs> just just grabbing it for completionist sake. All of these bodies. And I handled that pretty poorly, by the way. I could have done that so much smoother, but... And that's how you survive a, just a straight-up just gank, uh, AI gank. Barely survive that shit. Use plenty of flasks. Use plenty of flasks. Double whammy. Oh, how are you still alive? Get out of here. Alright, that spobs your uncle. Oh... <laughs> And, and after all that bullshit, this is the reward here. This is what you get. This is what you get. Oh, Lord have mercy. It has no passive effects, very low physical and lightning damage, and a high FP cost, well, medium FP cost weapon art. But like I said, there's only a few lightning weapons in the game. This is one. This is one. And when I go kill Commander O'Neill later, he drops one. And I think that's basically it. There's probably another one or two, but I, I can't think of them. I wanted to spec into this at one point, but it is so fucking slow. <laughs> but I, I did want to spec into it. it actually, I, was, I wanted to spec into two colossal weapons, but 
I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for later. I'm not quite skilled enough for that. Okay, let me go back to this here. I just that 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 was wild. The first time I got the bolt of grain sacks, it was worse than that. I just straight up died. I did not. I could not fight my way out like I could just there. Okay, let's, uh, let me finish exploring in here. So that was that way down. I got the weapon. Um, you can come out to the balcony on the left. You can go out to the right. And most importantly, you can come out here and climb up here. This is where the money's at right here. And you can get up there too, but I'll I'm, I'll get there. I think there's another boss over here or something like that, right? Is it a Godskin Apostle or something? I don't remember. Let me go get this shit first. I'm getting getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. All right. Um, so you come over here. This tree bow, which, if I recall correctly, was not a bad bow, right? So it's physical and holy, and it weighs four pounds. Well, it's an okay bow, I guess. I don't, I don't really know much about bows. The bow's nose. It's an item here. So let's still do. Kick the ladder down. And let's climb this tree. Let's come up here. Let's get this shit. You can actually get this without any fuckery. So, yeah. So don't think you have to jump or, like, parkour. Just stand right here and you grab it. Like, that, that's it. It ain't that, it ain't that serious. So let me come over here now because I'm really trying to remember what's over here. Is this the way? Yeah. Let's, let's see what this is. Oh, it's a black knife assassin. You got lucky as shit. You got lucky, you little asshole. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I knew something was over here. So those guys are tough, but um, if you know what you're doing, they're not too bad. There's all these... It looks... I want to say books, but if you actually look at it, it just looks like slabs of fucking concrete, right? But or ta it's tablets, really. It's just tablets of whatever the fuck is on that. Um, and there's not really anything in here. Oh yeah, and then there's the other boss fog. I don't remember what this is. I think this is... Um, Maybe this is Godfrey, not Shaded Godfrey, or... I don't fucking remember. Okay, so I got the little book, so let me just go back. Um, let me look this up, because I'm going to do this first before I fight any more bosses. Da -da -da. So I'm going to have to... Give this to the Turtle Pope, I think. So I'm going to have to go to the Turtle Pope. Also need to go see Blackguard, and um, I got, I'm busy, man. <laughs> this, game, this game keeps you busy. So let's go to the Turtle Pope first. And I like to give Turtle Pope all my stuff because he's just always there the whole game. He never leaves. Corin, though, I'd like to give books, but he's a little, he's busy. He's a busy dude. Turtle Pope, however, is just always... Look how gorgeous this fucking church is, by the way. Like, holy shit. This Turtle Pope is just always chilling. He's like, ooh, great heavens. Alright, so where's Law of Regression? So there it is. So you need, this is expensive as shit. So you need this. Um, I don't really give a shit about any of this other stuff, but I like to... What I like to do is if I'm somewhere... And I have, um, and I have runes, I just spend them. 
<laughs> just, just that way when I die, I have like no regrets. Okay, so let me go back to Sanctuary. Then I'm gonna go run back to where that statue was that I said I'd come back to later, and then I'm gonna perform that stupid fucking incantation there. And then you get a big spoiler of a story, but I really honestly don't care about the story in any Souls game to a certain extent because they're very, very convoluted, and you have to you have to do a lot of work to get them. And I'm not really a not a big fan of work. All right, so let me just grab this. And I still got more to do here. Um, I'm just, I'm just doing this first, getting this out of the way. And there's where I kicked the ladder down, by the way, just for shits and giggles. Okay, so I can sure I got that. Is this is where I think it is, because I'm getting kind of confused here. Why do you fucking morons put messages on levers? It's It didn't even inconvenience me. Like, I can still hit it. It's just... It's literally... You're not even wasting my time. You're just wasting your own time. Like, it's... You've literally trolled yourself. Like, it's just... It's so... It's not even sophomoric or childish. It's, it's just pointless. I, I don't... Some men just want to see the world burn, I guess. <laughs> it's like... It's, it's just, it's so fucking pointless. Wow. All right. Anyway, just wasting my breath complaining about that. Okay, so here's a statue. And you have to do it like, I think you have to do it on that message. On this message. I don't remember. But if you come up to the statue, there's nothing here. It's just a statue of, I think, Marika or something or Radagon. I don't fucking remember. I, 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 I'm just not good with the lore here. There. Yeah, Radagon is Marika, so that's the, that's the spoiler. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you. It means something. Yeah, I don't know why this has so many likes. It's... Okay, so now that I got that, let me go back to, I guess I'll just go back here and then run. I need to go back to Brother Corrin in Gold Mask for the last, one of the last bits, because there's still more to do. I, I probably shouldn't even stream this stuff, this isn't very exciting, but nobody really watches anyway, so <laughs> well, who am I boring? You can't bore people if they're not watching. Alright, so this here. So I think I have to kill that duelist again. Yeah, there's a gargoyle here the first time you run through here. And he's really annoying because it's kind of a small space. There's those little bubble bastards. And you can't summon or literally have to solo them. So it can be a problem. First time I fought him, accidentally, um, I had my summon thing on. My uh, effigy. So I literally got summoned while I was fighting him, so it was, I had to fight him twice. It was annoying. But he just basically buzzed around like a fucking gnat, and he, was, and he just wouldn't stay still. So I put it to him. I only hit him with one, one, one weapon. Damn it, I keep forgetting he has two attacks. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Almost got me again. That same bullshit. These guys aren't even hard. They're just... They're very... They're just... They just do a lot of damage. I thought I was dead. Because all you had to do is touch me one more time and I'd have been dead. Just so wouldn't have taken much. Let me be a little more careful with this guy here. Jeez. What I should be doing is cheesing him with these blasts. But trying to be all honorable and shit. That gets you fucking nowhere in this game. Gets you fucking nowhere. Be cheesy. You're rewarded for your cheese. 
Let's just go check on my favorite little um, misguided revolutionaries here. They're not really, but um, enthusiastic fundamentalists, uh, misguided religious nuts. I don't know. They're they're very special though. Oh, I, I know who, I know what's up. Here. Let me blow your fucking mind. What on earth? Well, Master Spink, I have it so I'd like to pass the glyphs. To think, or at least, how it's all sadly. Do you hope? Well, we're intrigued. I am no. What do I need? 18 G's to buy the rest of his stuff? Let me, let me buy the rest of this guy's stuff here. Or I'll try to. Just so I don't have to talk to him again, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, I still need 13 G's. Okay, so I need 10 more G's. Yeah, I just want to get his inventory out of the way so I don't ever need to talk to this guy again. I think that's it for now. I think that's it. Double check this guy's quest logs here. Um, after speaking to Gold Mask, after resting, retaining, blah, 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 blah. Note that if you progress, Corrin will vanish, leave behind Corrin's ball bearing. Addition, Gold Mask, like present. So I did regression, cars 37 intelligence. Oh yeah, I definitely have enough intelligence. Okay, upon reload, Golmask and Corrin will move to the bridge south of Stargazer's ruins. Okay, so I, I, I'm not done. <laughs> I'm just straight up not done. I thought I was. Oh, uh, that's fine. Hey, looks like I missed another item in here. Starfist? What? I've never seen this before. What is this? Is this a bleed hand weapon? Because I'm... I was considering doing a... It is. And it's beautiful. That's that's awesome. I bet you that would wreck in PvP. That would absolutely wreck. Especially if I made that like a cult or something. I was actually considering that. I was thinking of um, having like my PvE build like this. Or whatever I'm going to do. And then put like a weapon on the side for when we get invaded. And then have some fun with that. So let me see here. I love this emote. The little, the little aggressive stomp when you do it. It's just really cute. Okay, so... Um, shit, I think I just go beat, beat some ass. Shit. <laughs> just beat some fucking ass here. Or try to, anyway. I think, think this, this is, is legit, legit um, um, Godwin. Godwin. So I might, this might take, <laughs> this might take more than one try. I don't think this will be a first time thing, but we'll, we'll see. I also need to, I really need to go to the subterranean shunning grounds and go talk to Dung Eater. But let me, let me try this guy once real quick and see what happens. Like if I die, I'll go to subterranean shunning grounds. If I live, I'll probably just go there anyway. I need, I need to go there next is my point. This guy is a bit of a... he's, he's not easy. Yeah, I don't care about the cutscenes. The cutscenes in this game are too relaxed in... Um, oh, it's more God, I forgot. Oh, God. Oh, shit, I'm dead. 
not gonna let me heal. Yeah, I. It was like you literally wouldn't let me fucking heal from my fucking mimic. <laughs> so stupid. So now I gotta sit here. Okay. Let me go to sub the subterranean shine grounds. This, this boss isn't that hard, but that was dumb. Although maybe I should kill this boss first. I don't know. What do you think, chat? Oh, wait. Nobody's fucking talking and nobody's watching. So I guess it doesn't fucking matter. You know what? Nobody's watching. Nobody cares. So I'm just going to beat this boss. You got fucking lucky, you little asshole. You got me because I summoned the fucking mimic and you literally just were right in front of the fucking door. You gave me no room, no opening. It's like, well, it's 2v1, so you shouldn't have summoned him anyway. You should have just told him. I'm like, yeah, well, your mom said you're a fucking loser. So <laughs> that's, that's my rebuttal to that. Okay, let's try this again, minus dying as soon as I walk in. Right, yeah, back the fuck up. That was the problem. He was right in front of me. Right fucking in front of me. If I die again, though, that was not the problem. It was just me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm doing so bad. I'm doing so bad. Doing so poorly. Right, can I get a hit? <laughs> like, damn, bruh. Yeah. Man, I should have known that was coming, and I just fell for it anyway. Should have known that was coming. Alright, am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Okay. You're dead. I killed my mimic. That <laughs> that was the sloppiest fucking fight right there. It was just embarrassing. It was that was a terrible fight. I just sat there and got like crushed and it was sloppy and ugly and it was not a good fight. But like I said, I was like, I'm I'm too high level to be dying to this shit, so. Alright. So the thing is, is if I come over to um one of these fucking areas, I forgot. I come somewhere in the capital, I can head out to the east here. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the subterranean bullshit grounds. But nobody, nobody can go that way. So I'll come back. And I got quite a lot of runes. Not enough to level twice, but enough to level at least once. Yeah, homegirl pops up, says hello. Give myself some more health again. I wish to to the flame of Ben and guide you. I wish to the flame Ben and guide you. Yeah, so they want me to head to mountaintops of the giants. I do not want to go there right now. So I also can do um because I got what's his face? There's a shit at. So I got Morgoth's great rune. I just need to pump it up. And same with Radon's. These two. So that's Kayla's Divine Tower. And then this one is this Divine Tower that's near me. Also, never finish these two medallions here, which is annoying. Alright, so Yeah, yeah, there's also Yeah, that's where they want me to go. And then of course I still have my um person to kill over there for the Fucking Volcano Manor. Okay, so it's just a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let me just think for a second. Um, let me come over here. Still need to do the Kayla Divine Tower. I still need to... It's just like a laundry list with this game, I swear. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I can't do that one yet. There's another one over here, and then there's, like, one in the water or some shit. 
Um, I'll, I guess I'll, I guess I'll come back. Like fuck. Let me go to let's Grace. This game's being a little asshole right now. I swear. Uh, let's talk to Enyash and get triggered. So I can get this little thing, which is just some blood loss. Does a little bit more critical, but it's a curved great sword. Um, I don't really like this weapon, so I'm not going to use it. <laughs> but I could. What's that? And then there's these. Um, there's not really anything I want except for like maybe this. I think this is cool because it's fire damage. But I'm not going to, yeah, I don't want any of this stuff. So it's just sitting there, just collecting dust. And I can get on, uh, or I can buy the shitty Fell Omen <laughs> cloak, which is terrible. And then the Queen's clothes, which are terrible. And I'm just, they're just terrible. I'm going to be blasphemous here. And I still don't have a somber ancient smithing stone or whatever, so I still can't, um, still can't upgrade my fucking weapon, which pisses me off. Am I in the right room? Where's the room I was looking for? We gotta see if Dung Eater, make sure Dung Eater's still here. Let me talk to Gideon as well. So he's got some dumb shit to say. Yeah, I still haven't given Saluvis' potion to anyone. Because I'm going to try to give the Dung Eater's puppet with it. So, so that's, that's why, why I haven't done, done it. it. So, <laughs> so I just, I just, I just want to see what would happen. Because Dung Eater, I feel like, would make like a badass puppet. Or a badass summon ash. Alright, so he's still here, which is good. It means I can go find his body in the sewers. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm heading to the sewers. Really, and I still need to do Dragon Barrow and all this shit, but I'm, let me go to this fucking place. Oh, I do not like the sewers. <laughs> sewers is, sewers is bad. Sewers is bad. Sewers are bad. Yeah, here I am. Is there not a summon effigy in here? Just one there was. Alright. I do want to get summoned in here. I like running through here simply because it's such a confusing area. I just like to learn the um I like to practice basically the layout in other people's games. So this is where you drop down. So well wow, that's fast. And these guys are not easy. <laughs> like they're they're not like super hard, but they're they're tanky. And this is what I mean by this. You can level pretty high and still get summoned in this area because I'm like over level 110. I'm still getting summoned in here. Yeah. Ooh, nice. I swear to God, if you pull any PvP shit on me, it's psychotic. I'm not even gonna pronounce that right. It's ridiculous. Looks like sick psychotic joke three R. Not even gonna say that right. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? I can't believe you're you've gotten this far wearing those clothes with that weapon and a jellyfish shield. Like this guy must be sick. This guy must be a sick player. Where are we going? We going here?
not quite understanding what he's doing, but whatever. Pain in my ass. I hate these fucking things. I see. So this guy doesn't have a weird build. He's just trying to protect himself in this hellish sewer area. So, you know, props to him. Props to him. This place is rough. I probably shouldn't be running around wearing what I'm wearing, but I'm going to I'm just going to make the best of it and see what happens. And of course, a fucking connection error. You know. And this game gets 10s out of 10 with with a lot of magazines and and journalists and I'm like a 10 out of 10 does not have this many issues. You guys are being, you guys got bought out or something. I, and I'm sitting here playing this game all the time, and I really enjoy the game, but it is nowhere near a 10 out of 10. This is a hot, honestly, this game is about a 7, in my opinion, out of 10. 7 or an 8 at the most. Great game, and it does deserve props for not being riddled with microtransactions and pay to win, fear, missing out, all that garbage, but... It is the worst multiplayer experience out there, it feels like, and it's just, it's a terrible PC port, um, it's wildly unbalanced, and it's just got some other small issues, but those are the main issues. Those are the main issues, but you don't give some something with this many issues a 10 is my point. Because you can sit here and say it isn't that bad, or it's it's really great, or whatever, but it doesn't matter. That's that's not a 10. <laughs> it's like a 10 means it doesn't have those issues. So, it's, this game has so many issues. It's crazy. And that exemplifies, like, one of the main issues. The multiplayer is just broken. Just broken multiplayer. Like, not, I'm not even mean, I'm not even talking about the balancing, just the connection errors. Shit. 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 And this is why the sewers are rough. This is why the sewers are rough. I don't even know there's lobsters in here. Is um, I forgot there was assholes there, and I fell. I panicked and went back, and then I fell like a million miles. And then it ruined that guy's summon, which is probably fine because I don't really didn't really want to get summoned anyway. All right. Let's try this again, minus the death. That's why I na renamed the stream. I think it was like death and life or something, because I've been streaming and I haven't really died that much, and I really need to... I really feel like I don't die enough on stream compared to normal people, so I should, I should definitely die more. All right, so let's be a little more careful this time. Let's roll back, turn around. All right. And I'm just getting fucked. I'm just getting fucked. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Wow, oh, I'm dead. This isn't even a hard area. I just... It, yeah, I need a shield. Like, holy shit. I need a shield. Stop. Fuck. Irritating. And why am I doing, like, no fucking damage on these guys? Like, Jesus Christ, that's aggravating. You just hear me getting aggravated. It's, like, so fucking annoying. Use fucking three flasks just on the first two enemies. My fucking frame rate's, like, chugging along. Yeah, this, this area sucks. This area fucking sucks. Where are you going? Where is my character going? Oh, fuck me. Where... Where are you going? Why is this so fucking laggy and slow? Like, oh, fuck. I'm going to do something real quick. It's like I'm pushing buttons and my character's bouncing around like a fucking drunk asshole. Pissing me off. 
Go to fucking low. Just go to low. Okay? Jesus Christ. Let me put this on low for a minute. Um, just on this part, because I'm tired of this fucking laggy, slow bullshit. I'm like, sweet. Like, come on. Just fucking finish the goddamn animation, and let's just get this fight over with. And it's still laggy and slow. It's it's just the... It's what I was saying. It's a shit PC port. It's a shit PC port. There's nothing wrong with my fucking computer. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, it's still it's still all fucked in here. It's just the area is just done. It's like nothing you can do about it. How are you already here, man? Like fuck out of here with that shit. Not even turning the corner. There's already like fucking 50 little assholes on me. Probably didn't fucking get a magical hit on me out of nowhere. Oh my god, how many of these fucking guys are there? And, and I've done this part before, obviously, but it was like... It's nowhere near this frustrating. It's just crazy. And it's so funny, because I was just saying this game is not a 10 out of 10. And look at this frame rate. Why am I having these ridiculous frame rate issues? The graphics run low now. It's because it's a bad fucking PC port, but the reviewers are so busy dick riding the fucking game that they don't mention shit like that to, you know, possible fucking consumers. Like, you want to know, like, what's going to happen in your game before you buy it, and then the, you're getting fucking sold by these dumbass fucking journalists not mentioning shit like this. The game runs terribly. Alright. Jeez, like, fucking ease is aggravating. Oh, okay. I got cocky. That was on me. That's gonna hit me. Look at this frame rate. Like, it's... It's just dying again. Come on. Stay with me, man. Fucking stay with me. Alright, so the, the point of that super aggravating, annoying shit is that I've now opened this gate. And let me back up, because there's a fat ass over here. Does he want some of this? Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's why I like this sword again. I like doing shit like that. Alright. I didn't need to kill that guy, but I'm just I'm just frustrated. <laughs> just he just seriously just, just just got triggered, got tilted by this shit. Um I don't think there's anything here. And I'm this place just confuses the shit out of me. Um I think the next place I need to go is just straight up underground. Straight up underground, so let me just run past this guy. Wow. Here, you know what? Let's just reset this. I just wanted to unlock that little shortcut. That shortcut right there with that door is annoying as hell to unlock. It takes a while. So I'm going to run past these guys with my low ass frame rate here. Just drop down. Yeah, this is why I also switched to faster weapons. Because you just. These slow ass animations just don't do you any favors. Like, look how slow, I'm just so slow. Like, look how long my swing is. Slow swing. Just so fucking slow. Look at this. I'm, I'm like literally like a second behind this enemy. It's crazy. I mean, they are rats and they are ridiculous, but I'm super, super slow. Alright, so... I'm actually going to go through here. This is really irritating, but I'm going to go through this area. I think he's gonna poison me anyway. I 
Miss High Cat. Very it. aggravated, Maisie. Aww. Fucking game. Sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad PC port, Maisie. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Shit PC port. It's pissing me off. Like, why are we playing a port anyway? Like, why isn't this shit on, uh... Hey, how's it going? Whatever this is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Not that I'm all about one thing is better than another, but I was like, why are we playing a port? Like, why isn't it just they release a PC version and then there's console version? Like, how about, how about both versions are awesome instead of one being better than the other? Because I played the Xbox version, and I didn't honestly didn't really have any issues with it. I think it ran better, actually. Um, and I'm sure the PlayStation version is the same. Alright, you're done. You're done. Pop another one of these. Enough of the poison. I feel bad for you streamers that stream and don't get any views, so I'm checking in. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's... I'm literally had to just tell myself I'm doing it for just fun. It's <laughs> like it's because if I was if I was trying to get viewers and stuff, it is just not happening whatsoever. So I am just talking to myself. How how are you doing? You said what's up? I'm just just struggling through some Elden Ring, man. How are you doing? Just struggling through the uh, subterranean shining grounds. About to get poisoned again. I'm just going to stay poisoned because I'm going to heal here. Bro, why am I doing like no damage? Come on. Alright. You're like, uh, oh, what? What's up? Tell me you're... I'm not doing good, thanks for asking though. How about you? Why aren't you doing good? Tell me, tell me you're... Tell me what ails you. I'm not really doing great either, to be honest, but... Just... <laughs> just playing some Elden Ring. <laughs> okay, so what's why is it saying? Oh, there's little hands up here. Okay, there's a big hand. I can deal with it. I can deal with hands. Come on. Are you serious? Dot dot dot. Eh, you know you don't have to say anything. I feel you. Sometimes you just don't. You're just not having a great time. <laughs> just you're just not having a great time. Which was me, like, a minute before you started uh, messaging me, I was I was getting tilted. CPS came around and it broke up. Oh, shit. Wow, what bad timing you grabbed by hand. What what the hell's going on over there? Holy shit. Am I gonna... Give me a break here. Give me a break. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk here. I'm trying to talk. Asshole. Okay. You broke up. Like, what's... I can't, <laughs> that's, that's crazy, because, uh, CPS doesn't make visits for, it's not a fun time with CPS and making a visit. Not a fun time. I mean, I mean, you don't, you don't have, have to say, say anything, anything else, though. I, 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 that's, that's, <laughs> I understand. Both things happen. Oh. Ouch. thought that was like this. Oh, man. Terrible. That is a terrible time you're having, and I'm sorry about that. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, even if it's a misunderstanding, just any kind of cop visit is, like, it's not going to be that great of a time. Um... All right, so let me let me come over here real quick. Well, I mean, I'm glad. Oh, I misread that. That said, cops is a misunderstanding. I'm I'm glad uh, CPS is a misunderstanding because, geez. Um, and I broke up to two years, three months, five days. It sucks. I'm sorry. I think breakups are like one of the worst things you can do. They're they're just awful, awful. I don't think I've ever had like a swell breakup. It's it's never a good time unless you're like completely just done with the relationship, like, and you know it's gonna happen. And even then, it's still not great. It's I've never had a great breakup. They they, they just suck. All right, 
where am I? Because I got a long horse ride here. And I'm not going to give you any advice or anything either, because it's like when people tell you they break up with someone, usually the first thing people say is they give you advice. Like you just said, and now I'm going through depression. So I'm sorry. It's, I don't, um, I don't like giving people advice. <laughs> just, I just listen to their problems because I'm not a psychiatrist. I feel you with the depression. I'm, I'm actually usually really depressed. That's why I started streaming because it's just something to take my mind off of not feeling great. So if you got something like that, you can just take your mind off of shit. Um, that'd be cool. Cool to hit that up. Wish I was doing something a little more exciting that I could help to cheer you up. Um, <laughs> so what I'm, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go kill a uh, dung eater. Well, it's like dung eater's ghost, basically. Same, I'm always depressed. Uh, you, uh, you on medication or anything for it? Shit. I need to go, okay, I can't, I, can't, I gotta get rid of this giant because I can't see shit. I was like, I need to look at the map. It's just me in my mind. Well, you told me, I know. <laughs> so, you're not alone, buddy. Ow. Ow. Jeez. I mean, if you can, um, get yourself something good. Get yourself a little treat. Um, if I feel pretty shitty sometimes, like, one thing I really like is Little Caesars, man. Cause, and it's stupid, but I really like Little Caesars Crazy Bread, so I'll go to fucking Little Caesars, get some Crazy Bread. A little treat. This Actually, this game was a treat at one point. Now it's more like torture, but <laughs> it was a treat when I got it. Oh, cool miss. Cool miss. This is how you die. Did this giant have any more health? Like, holy shit. Yeah, if it would help, I mean, uh, do you need any help with this game? I could help you out. I'm through most of it. Although, I still got a few areas to go. I'm always telling people, um, as long as I'm where they're at, I can... I'd be happy to help them in their games. Okay, so I need to come over here, not where I'm at. It's not much, but I mean, just trying to help. Sorry. Why are you saying sorry? You don't have to apologize for anything. Alright, you know what? This is where the dung eater is at here. So, he shouldn't be hard, but like I'm always saying, you never know. <laughs> you just, this Elden Ring, you get cocky, you get killed. Sorry, turtle, but I need your neck meat. Alright, you know what? Blackguard's still here, so, hmm. I don't think I did this right. Because people always want to apologize for me and get annoyed with me. Oh, psh, you know how that feels. Why do they, why do, they do that? It's fucking stupid. Because yeah, people are stupid, that's why. So I say sorry. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Alright, where are you at, Dung Eater? Am I not... Am I not... Right spot? You know what, I think I have to reload, um, which sucks, I don't want to reload.
Alright, really game? I swear I'm like really good at killing dragonflies, but just not right now, apparently. There we go. Stop locking on to the goddamn fucking crabs. Here. Alright, there. The crabs, the, the crabs are gone. Like, stop. Fuck. Look at this. And then he misses. He's like right there. It's fucking hilarious. Alright, so I guess Dung Eater is just not showing up. He's supposed to show up like right here. I think I have to reload the fucking area. I don't know what there is left to do in life, honestly. Um, you're, you're speaking to the choir, buddy. <laughs> it's like... I'm sitting here talking, and I sound relatively normal, right? And I usually put on a good show, but yeah, it's you're fine. Yeah, you have to say that a lot, don't you? Honestly, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what you're supposed to be doing or saying or feeling, because I don't know. I think I think that's part of the problem is that people expect everyone to be like awesome all the time or smile if you feel like shit or you know. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. I don't know. It's probably why I'm playing this fucking game. <laughs> it's a very punishing, punishing game. It's, it's like, like masochism, masochism or self-abuse self or something. something. <laughs> Alright, let me try this again, because... Yes, how do you know that? Cause you, sound, you sound pretty similar to me. You sound kind of like me. My fucking camera, like... There you go. I'm always like stressing that camera's not centered. It's a little OCD. Okay, let's try this again. So hopefully he shows up, and if he doesn't, then I'm at to consult the stupid wiki. I'm pretty sure. I just had to reload. Yeah, you're you're always gonna be fine because what else can you do? <laughs> it's like you can just sit there and feel like shit. And then talk to people or don't talk to people about it. And then at the end of the day, it's just you and however you feel. So you just got to sit there and you literally just sit there and take it. <laughs> so like, and it's, it's just sucks. You sit there and there's nothing you can do about it. But over time, it feels like if, after you just sit there and deal with stuff yourself, you just kind of feel, feel pretty, pretty tough. Like after you, after getting, after going through so much shit, it just makes you more, so much more resilient. It's not necessarily a fun thing, <laughs> but you know it's 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 a harsh truth. Are you fucking kidding me, Blackguard? Clinical depression. Uh, oh, he's he's dead. Okay, he's dead. Oh my god, of these fucking dragonflies! Like I gotta find an NPC. Like get out of here. And, and I had no time to prep because these damn dragonflies. Yeah, and I can't, you can't get clinically depressed, like diagnosed, unless um, basically talk to a professional. Like, I couldn't. Yeah, gotcha, son. And you, I'm trying to fight an NPC and talk to somebody, and I'm just very busy. Like, I don't have time for your shit. Thank you. Alright. I actually wanted this sword. Possibly for my build. Possibly for my build. Because it's, um, ooh, I can't use it right now if, as a summon, though. Because it has blood loss and it restores some FP on attacks, I believe. And it would, it would go nice with a little setup. Zack. What? What do you mean, Zack? Sorry, Blackguard. Rest in peace, my friend. That's another good weapon is um, Blackguard's little... What is this shit called? Iron Ball? It's just a cool... Oh, your name, Zach. Well, hi, Zach. Yeah, my name is, 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 is Lloyd. That's not... Didn't just make that up for the stream. 
Yeah, I like these fist weapons. So. All right, so that's the first part of the dung eater bullshit. Um, I need to go back, unfortunately, and give him these seed bed curses. Although I think I only have like two on me. Oh yeah, I never did these Shabiri grapes either. Jeez. Have to do that as well. Yeah, three seed bed curses. I need to give him five for his armor and stuff. So I got a lot of work to do. We also need to just straight up leave the capital. Let me just go back. So Zach, you play uh, you play Elden Ring or anything? I think I've previously um, I've streamed like Elden Ring, Factorio, and Diablo. I'm trying not to be like a variety streamer. I just trying to stick to one game at a time, but I do bounce around a little bit. But I'd prefer to just play like one game most of the time. Probably not going to be Elden Ring just because the game's annoying. But <laughs> it's I'm I'm enjoying it right now. I've, I've beat it before on Xbox, just haven't beat it on PC, which I'm playing it now. I don't play Elden Ring. Yeah, it's probably a smart move. <laughs> probably a smart move. Tough game. And I don't mean tough as in it's only for certain people. I mean tough as in it's fucking aggravating to play a lot of the time. It's not a chill game. Not a chill game. Right, so let me go down here again. Wow, huge fail. Huge fail. Oh. What the hell was that bullshit? Alright, so... Let me come in here. This is the part... Uh, I just... I, I can't. Like, I, I don't know where the hell you're supposed to go in here. Confuses the hell out of me. Sorry, just you saying I don't play Elden Ring just cracks me up because it's this game is so fucking <laughs> this game's a piece of work. It really is. It's a piece of work. I have no idea where I'm going. It's just so funny. And I'll never know. I don't care how many times I play this. Wow, is it really that necessary to do that much damage? I don't care how many times I play this game or how many times I go through sewers. I have no fucking clue how to navigate these sewers. It would be funny if it wasn't so pathetic. I think this leads to a big fat guy by a ladder. Okay, it does. Probably should heal too. I don't want to. I need to. And only one hit hit him, so that's nice. And he kicked me out of midair. That's cool. And he got a hit on me. Okay. Oh, and there's another one. Just in case this wasn't easy enough for me, let's go ahead and pump up the difficulty with another fat ass. Beautiful. Son of a bitch. Son of I'm dead. Oh, I'm not. Okay. Alright, you cheap bastard. This is literally, like, if he didn't come down here, I would have had no problem with that encounter. But he fucking came down here while I was fighting the fat guy and just made it as miserable as possible. This is why when you said I don't play Elden Ring, I'm like, good. <laughs> good for you. Good for you. Fuck. So aggravating. One more of these little assholes. Right, this time I'm just going to cheese this guy. It's going to go cheesy on him. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's hard to go cheesy on an enemy when they're cheesier than you are.
I don't think I can. Oh, oh I can. Cool. Whew, the cheese. <laughs> And I'm still missing like half of the tunnels right now, but I'll I'll make sure I get everything. Just make open it up some shortcuts. Okay, so I think if I go left, there's actually a drop-off point. Yeah, but I'm gonna go right first. This guy's way too much fucking health. Same, with way too much health. All right. Drop off. Some string, only an Elden Ring. Get some fucking string. Stop. Alright, and if you go this way, there's something. So I'll get back to that. I don't even remember what's down here besides, I think, annoyance. Oh, fucking A. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Oh, I am. Wow. Really am going to regret it. I don't care about poison compared to, to death, so... There's literal death every square inch of this fucking area. So let me back off a little bit here. Damn it. Alright. I think that's the death guys out of the way. Don't give a shit about your dumb poison for now. Annoy. Yeah, these guys are annoying me. <laughs> so let me get these guys out of here. Oh, got us. Oh, wouldn't let me do it. I was like, that was probably the first critical I've ever gotten on a flower. And it didn't work. Right, what's What was even the point of coming over here, I wonder? Cause I, whoa. No, 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 no. Fucking asshole. Come, come on, man. Why are you hiding around a corner? Hate that shit. No man ashes. Nothing down there. Yeah, that's literally it. That's literally it. It was just some ashes. So I risked my life for some ashes I'm never going to use. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Okay, so if you come in here, this is this leads to something. And I'm going to do this the wrong way, and... Alright, this, this, I've had enough of you frogs, alright? I've had enough of you guys. Come on. <sighs> Look at this engaging gameplay here. Are, are you done casting the same spell fucking 300 times in a row? Okay, cool. Can't go in there. All right, I gotta be careful I don't fall in, in here because I don't know how to navigate this tour very well. Turn back ahead. That's not good. Oh, no. Well, I think it's just this guy, although I don't think I can buff. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. So I can buff up again. So I'm just going to cheese this guy if possible. Shit. Right. Just trying to be as easy, <laughs> easy as I can make this shit. Alright. 
cool. The amount of juice. Where's my frame rate going? Come back, frame rate. Come back. There you go. Alright, I need to hit a grace or something because I'm, I'm not looking too hot here. Not looking too hot. Can I get a shortcut? Or? Yes, this is literally what this is. Okay. So here's the shortcut and here's the grace. Perfect timing. Oof, we'll level up here too. God, that's like barely any HP, but I'm going to bring this to 45 vigor before I can bring my intelligence up because it's only one, <laughs> it's only one, one extra damage um, for now. I think it'll go higher. All right. What does Melina have to say? Yeah, I don't I don't mind doing that, so don't worry. Don't mind doing it at all. Alright, so this is a good stopping point because I can go to rolled lift and move to the Forbidden Lands, Mountaintops of Giants, then do all that. Um, I can finish exploring, exploring the subterranean shining, shining grounds. grounds. And then, and then wrap, wrap up, up any more stuff I've left over before I finish Volcano Manor. Then I can come back to Volcano Manor and do Reich hard. Um But it's just a... I'm in a good spot. And then I also might have missed something here. Uh, but I'll, I can go back to that too. And then I also have Dragon Barrow and Divine Tower Kaelid. Um, just, just a ton to do still. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up and... Yeah, I'll probably be on tomorrow again. Uh, Zach, I hope you hope you have a better night, buddy, because you were not having a great day. Um, yeah, hit me up again next time you see me if you want to chit-chat. But uh, anybody else, have a good night.